Turning to other news now, there had not been a deadly shark attack in Massachusetts since 1936. Sadly, though, until this past weekend. Beach and Well Fleet out on the Cape closed to swimmers yesterday after a man was killed by a shark Saturday. Eyewitness News reporter Michaela McDonald's in the control room now with more on the victim of this attack. Danielle and Patrick, despite the efforts of other beachgoers to try to stop the victim's bleeding with towels, he died at a hospital a short time later. And witnesses say 26-year-old Arthur Medici was boogie boarding when he was suddenly attacked on Saturday. They say he was about 30 feet into the water at Newcomb Hollow Beach in Wellfleet when he was bitten on his legs. The beach was closed to swimming and surfing after that attack on Saturday afternoon. The community alarmed by what some have described as a surging shark population. It's just somebody in the somebody had him by by his, like underneath his arms sitting in in the surf. There were uh, half a dozen people trying to stop the bleeding with the towels and the uh, I guess the cord from the boogie board. But they were amazing. They did a great job. And this was the first fatal shark attack in Massachusetts in 82 years, and it happened just a few miles away from where another man was bitten by a shark earlier in the summer, but he was able to survive that attack. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.